hey everyone welcome back to another video so in today's video i am going to show you one new trick so for example many times you get the task of passing the json and in json you have the, some keys which are dynamic means the keys will not be same every time so for example here we have this one uh, big json in which we have this near earth objects dictionary or you can say object and inside that i have arrays like here i have got two arrays and whose uh, key is actually a date so this date can be anything so for example the next key is different so date could be anything so for that how you can uh, get this type of uh, data passed in your model object so that we are going to see in today's video so for this i am using this url if you want you can get it i will provide that so do let me know in the comment section below if you need this so what happening here is we are just calling this api it is giving us the data but now we want to parse that data into our model objects so for that my main task is to get this kilometer per second uh, value from this big json so you can see first we have to go to near earth objects object then we have to go to one one object each like for example is this first i will go to this zeroth object which is array inside that again i have to go to zeroth object then i to i have to go to links object then i have to go to this close approach data array and then i have to get this data again inside that relative velocity so this passing logic i'm going to explain you in today's video so let's see so first as you can see i have just used url session to call the api i will get the data response and error so i'm just checking the data is proper or not and then i'm doing the passing logic so for passing we have to create our struct uh, model object so i have created the, those at the bottom so i am going to show you two ways one here i have hard coded the value that uh, this will be a string so like for example this date i have directly given here and how you can pass that one single value but if you want to learn how we cannot without hard coding how we can do it so i will show you that also in the uh, later part of this video so let's run it and see how the data is coming first and then i will explain you the logic so we will get the data printed at the bottom so here it is coming so it's after json decoder is coming to the next line means is parsing is done properly and you can see data is printing here at the bottom so let's see what we have done so here first is the struct response i have named it because we can name anything for the first object so here I have named it as response and then inside that I am getting this near earth objects array so I want to pass that so for that I have done like this I have given the same key here then I have created a new uh, uh, model for the near earth objects and I have marked them as decodable so that we can decode the data coming from the server and now inside near earth object I have this again a uh, date so now i how can i just pass this integer value here so for that what you can do is you can create coding keys where which means basically we use it when we want to rename our keys which are coming from the server so from server this date is coming and i want to rename it to sample data so i have done the, like this coding keys so you can name any of your keys different by using this coding keys and now if i see show you the next part which is if i get the date then inside the date we have to go to not links not estimated diameter i have to go to close approach data because i want to go to relative velocity in kilometers per second so i am coming inside this my sample data then close approach data inside that i have this array of relative velocity which is this inside the array of close approach then relative velocity again is object and inside that kilometer per hour so this is how i have got the data for the constant value means when my key is fixed that key is not going to change but i want to do this same for when the key is dynamic so for that what i will do is i will just comment out this part i don't need this one here i will directly mention this that my sample data is nothing but a dictionary which is whose key will be string so for example here tomorrow whatever the key is coming it will 
convert it into string type and it will take that automatically for us and inside that we have the sample data means this close up close data now let's run the run the app again and see if it is working fine or not so here it will come which means parsing is completed fine let's print it and you can see the data is printing so this is how you can directly omit that constant part and you can use the dynamic keys coming from the server like this so here what i have done is i have mentioned that the key will be of string this key and inside that it will be an array of sample date means like this is an array here you can see square bracket that's why that array otherwise if it was an object then i will remove these square brackets so this is the trick i want to show you in today's video i hope you have liked it and you will find it useful so thank you so much guys for watching this video. Bye.